More swim baits. More swim baits. What's going on y'all? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. And if you haven't guessed already, today we got episode 10 of the Soft Plastic Showdown for y'all. Today we're going to be looking at a bunch more swim baits actually. This is probably the third swim bait video I think I did. I'll leave the other two linked down below in case you want to go check them out. But uh, this is going to be the last uh, swim bait video I think we do. So I got five more swim baits coming at y'all today. And just like in our normal ones, we're going to go into some underwater footage, look at their action underwater, see how much they kick and their body roll and everything. And then I'm going to sit down and go over some of the nitty gritty sort of details like the color selection and like price, quantity you get per pack, like whether it is scent and stuff like that. And we end up rating them at the end of the video as well. So if you want to see that, stick around till the end. If you want to just see what they look like underwater, you're more than welcome to click off after that. But before we get into the underwater footage, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching this video real quick. And um, it really means a lot to me if y'all would hit the like button if you enjoy the content. Uh, it helps a lot more people see my videos. Uh, it doesn't really do much for me, but um, you know, it lets people see my videos more often. So I would really appreciate that. As well as hitting that subscribe button down below if y'all want to see some more content like this. Uh, I'm just starting out my YouTube channel this year, so I don't have a ton of videos up right now, but especially as the season starts going, I'm going to have a lot more fishing content. Uh, we also do like soft plastic videos like this. Uh, we'll be doing some reviews later in the year, and uh, I'll also be mixing in some other like fish keeping style stuff because that's my other interest, I guess. And over time, we might trickle in some more video ideas. So if y'all have any good video ideas, feel free to leave them down in the comments if you guys have something you want to see. Uh, something funny, stupid, I'm down for pretty much whatever. Uh, you guys want to see catching cooks, you want to see me do bow fishing, you want to see me do like outdoorsy stuff, we could take my car and go off-roading, I'd be down to do like underwater, you know, exploratory stuff, uh, or if you guys just want to see more of this stuff, then let me know down there. But real quick, I'm going to show you all which lures we're going to be looking at today and then we're just gonna go hop into the underwater footage.
All right, y'all, now that you've seen the underwater footage of each of these lures, we're just gonna go over them, uh, talk about their attributes, and just rate them real quick. So um, if you've never seen one of these videos before, the way that we rate them is we give them a score based on a total of 15 possible points. And the amount of points that they get is determined on five different categories. Uh, for each category, you can get a maximum of three points. And the categories that we do are the amount of colors they come in, the quantity per pack, uh, the action of the lure, the price that they come in for like a just a pack, and then uh, there's an other category which is split into whether this lure has scent, salt, and is made out of a quality plastic. So for each of the subcategories for the other category, uh, you get one point which adds up to the three point for the other category, and uh, that'll leave you for, with a total score out of 15. So first up we're going to be looking at the 10,000 fish shimmer shad. Uh, this is their ghost color. As you can see, it's just a really transparent uh, blue or bluegill bait fish imitation that um, I mean works pretty well on a small jig head. Uh, as we saw today, it was on a three eight ounce, uh, which it worked out pretty well. I think that had a three aught hook on it, so I think a three aught down would be a good size for this lure. Um, but it still had a ton of action to it. So for the colors, I'm gonna give it a two out of three because it only has six colors, which is enough to get you through, but they kind of, I feel like they're missing a few, you know, key colors that they could use in their lineup that would probably help, you know, cover some more niches a little bit easier. Uh, for the quantity per pack, I'm gonna give this a one out of three because it only comes in four per pack, which is really not all that much. Uh, I mean, they're swim baits, so they do last pretty long, but uh, you know four per pack and these things aren't like the most inexpensive lures either so I feel like for what they're priced uh, you should probably get a little bit more per pack but that's just my personal opinion for the action I'm gonna give this lure a three out of three because uh, as y'all can see just sitting in my hand that tail is drooping a lot just because of that super thin tail section and that really big heavy boot tail so what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow a lot of kicking action in the water and uh, that tail is gonna allow for that movement to be really wide and erratic. And then uh, while it's swimming, it also has like a little bit of a body roll like this. It just kind of sh uh, shakes and shimmies side to side. And if y'all can see, there's actually a little piece of tin foil or something in there. Uh, and that just kind of shimmers and shines off as the body rolls, hence the name Shimmer Swimmer. So uh, I'm gonna give this a three out of three for the action. And then for price, I'm gonna give it a one out of three because at 529, it's uh, one of the most expensive lures that we look at today. And it's a little bit high on like just an average scale for soft plastics. And finally for the other category, I'm gonna give it a no for scent because I don't think it has any scent to it. Uh, a no for salt because as far as I can tell, it doesn't have any salt in it, but a yes for quality plastic. So they'll get a one out of three for the other category, which brings the 10,000 fish shimmer swimmer to an eight out of 15. Second up on the list today is gonna to be the Yum Pulse. Uh, this is actually one of my personal favorite swim baits. I've used this for a long time. This used to be one of my favorite swim baits to throw back when I was in New York. I like to run them just on a belly weighted swim bait hook. Uh, they look great on underspins. Uh, they look pretty good on you know, swim jigs and chatter baits. So, I don't know, just just an all around good uh, bait fish imitation. For the color selection, I'm gonna give this lure a three out of three because it has 14 colors, which is more than enough to get you by. Um, for the quantity per pack, I'm gonna also give it a three out of three because this comes in an eight pack, which is more than a lot of the lures that we looked at today. For the action, I'm gonna give it a two out of three. Uh, I really like the action of this, obviously, like that's why I use it a lot. Uh, I think it looks pretty natural, uh, but that wide kicking action actually made the tail kind of lock up and get caught on the hook that we were using. And uh, that wasn't a very big hook that we were using today. Uh, it was, again, I think a three-aught hook on like a three-eighths ounce swim bait head or something. So, um, I don't know. I just feel like while it's swimming through the water, if that were to happen, uh, it would come you know completely mess up your entire cast so uh, other than that i would give it a three out of three again these ridges create a lot of disturbance in the water and uh, has a really large boot tail and a really thin uh end or and like a really really thin tail right here so that gets a really wide kicking action which is actually part of the reason why 
I think it was able to pretty much double up on itself and get caught on the hook. But um, yeah, I'll give it a two out of three for the action. For the price, I'm going to give it a three out of three because uh, depending on what size you get these in, uh, they come between two ninety nine and three ninety nine per pack. So that's a little bit lower priced for, uh, for a swim bait. And especially for however many you get per pack, uh, that's a good deal. And then last for the other category, uh, I'm going to give it a no for scent because I don't think it has any real scent to it. It's just kind of like a rubbery, plasticky smell. Uh, no for salt because I can't really tell, but I don't think there's any salt in it. And then a yes for quality plastic because I do think that they are made out of quality plastic. So that's going to bring the Yum Pulse to a total score of 12 out of 15. Third up, we're going to have the Big By Baits Cane Thumper. Uh, so this is the Alewife color again. Uh, and as you all can see, it's just kind of your average swim bait. It is actually a little bit softer plastic than I would have thought, uh, just looking at it. But um, just kind of your average swim bait. It does have a hook line or hook ridge on both the top and the bottom, which is going to make it really easy to keep make this thing weedless. And uh, also really easy to center that hook, which is nice. But, um, you know, I mean, other than that, it's a pretty standard swim bait. So for the colors on this one, I'm gonna give it a three out of three because it comes with 20 colors, which is more than enough to get you by. That's uh, almost the, I think that's the second most colors out of anything that we looked at today after the Kytec, which we'll get to in a minute. For quantity per pack, I'm gonna give it a three out of three as well because depending on the size that you get, they either come in like a seven to an eight pack, which again is a lot more than you would normally get for you know a swim bait. So. I think that's a good deal as well, so I'll give it a 3 out of 3. Now the action on these I wasn't extremely impressed on. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the tail section is a lot thicker and wider on this than on a lot of the other swim baits that we were looking at. And uh, the tail is also a lot smaller, proportionately speaking, to the body. Like, just to look, this, uh, these two, you know, the pulse is a little bit longer, but they're about the same size body. And then if you look at the size tail next to each other, the pulse has a lot bigger tail. And the pulse's uh, tail is also a lot uh, slimmer and thinner. So this is gonna have a lot more action and this is gonna have a lot less action, which I think is good for if you're fishing clear water or you need like a finessier kind of swim bait. But uh, just for me personally, I like my swim baits to have a little bit wider kick, so I'm going to give this a 1 out of 3 for the action. For the price, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 3 because at $3.99 it's right around the normal general area or range for a soft plastic lure to be. $4 is about the average price for a pack of plastics, between $4 and $5 I've found. And then for the other category, we're going to give this a yes for a cent because they have like a big bite baits or big bite juice or something, whatever they call it, but it's definitely scented. Uh, so yes for scent, uh, yes for salt, because I was just squeezing this and you can kind of tell there is there's a little bit of salt in here. It's not a lot, but they are kind of flaking off onto my hand a little bit. So yes for salt and then a yes for quality plastic, because I do think they're made out of quality plastic. So that's going to bring the big bite baits cane thumper to a 12 out of the possible 15. Number four, and personally, probably my favorite out of these, all of these, is going to be the uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures Live Magic Shad. Uh, this is, again, the one with the boot tail on the back, so it's not the normal Live Magic Shad. It has the boot tail. Uh, the Live Magic Shad, I think, just has that fork tail, but um, they took pretty much the exact same body and just put a boot tail on it, and the amount of kicking action that uh, this thing gives off is incredible. I think it looks the most natural, the most lifelike in the water, and um, I don't want to say it has the most action, but it definitely has like the most fishy looking action. And I think that has a lot to do with that tail. I don't know if y'all can see that, how thin that gets right there. It goes, it runs all the way down the body, so it's like the same profile as the body, but it gets so thin right there. And I think that just causes like that jointed tail kind of just causes a lot wider of a kicking action. Like y'all can see that's that's a really wide kicking action. I'm not moving my hand all that much at all. So I wanted to see these in the tank. They did not disappoint. They're incredible. I'm definitely going to be adding these to the list and probably just my arsenal in general.
but uh, getting into the lures. Uh, for the color selection, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 3. Uh, they're offered in 9 colors, which I think is enough to get you by, but you know, it's not like the big bite baits where they come in 20 or the Kai Tech where they come in too many. <laughs> but um, 9 is, you know, good enough to get you through. So I'll give it a 2 out of 3. Um, for the quantity per pack, I'll also give it a 2 out of 3 because it comes in between a 4 to a 6 pack depending on which size you get, which is about average for a swim bait, so you know, about average, you get like a normal average score, 2 out of 3. Uh, for the action, of course, I already went into it a, quite a bit in the beginning, but that tail has an incredible kicking action. Uh, it's inc extremely lifelike looking, I think it looks almost exactly like a fish just swimming through the water. And uh, So I'm going to give this a 3 out of 3 for the action. And then for the price, I'm going to give this a 1 out of 3, because it's $6.49 per pack. This is the most expensive one that we looked at today. And then for the other category, I'm going to give this a yes for scent, because it's not overpowering, but there is some scent that comes in this. Um, I think it's like a garlicky scent, that's what it smells like, but um, yes for scent. Uh, yes for salt, because they are definitely salt uh, impregnated, I think is the word for it. Uh, they definitely have salt in them is what I'm trying to say. And then yes for quality plastic because these are definitely made out of quality plastic. So that's going to be a 3 out of 3 for the other category which brings the Lake Fork Trophy Lures Live Magic Shad Boot Tail Swim Bait. Wow that is a mouthful. Uh, to an 11 out of 15 on our scale. So fifth we're going to have the Kitex Swing Impact. Uh, this color I think is Crystal Shad. I'm not 100% sure. but. Um, if you're looking for a color that fits your water, get, I'm, I'm certain they have it. Um, get it. The color selection for these is unreal. They have 50 colors. So I'm going to give this a 3 out of 3 for the color selection. For the quantity per pack, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 3. For the 4.5 size, they come in a 6 pack. For the uh, 4 and the 3.5 size, they come in an 8 pack. For the 3 inch size they come in a 10 pack, and for the 2 inch size they come in a 12 pack. I'm just really focusing on the first 3, the 4.5, the 4, and the 3.5, so they're pretty much the most commonly used sizes. So they come in a pretty average number of swim baits per pack, so I'll just give it an average number. Um, for the action, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 3 for pretty much the same reason as the Yum Pulses. I really like the action. Uh, it's got ribs. They're different ribs, but they also have ribs. Uh, this one also has a really thin tail section, just like the Pulse, and it has a really wide kicking action. And again, I would have given this full marks, but uh, that tail uh, kept getting hooked on the hook, just like with the Pulse one. So I think they have almost too wide of a kicking action sometimes, but um, you know, if you downsize them a little bit or put them on the back of a jig, that seems to, you know, stop that from happening as much. For the price per pack, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 3 at 4.75 per pack. They're pretty average for a swim bait, so, you know, not overly good or overly bad. So just an average score. And then for the other category, I'm going to give it a yes for salt because it has salt for sure. Uh, they're very salty. It's been dropping salt all over my desk. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but... It's dropping salt on my desk as I'm holding it. Uh, yes for scent, they have like a, I think it's a squid scent they say? I don't know, it's not pleasant, but it's definitely scented. Um, so yes for salt, yes for scent, and then of course it's a Kytec, so yes, they're made out of quality plastic as well. So that's gonna give the Kytec Swing Impact a 12 out of the possible 15 points. And last but not least, we have the Riot Baits Tattletail. I think this is the T3 Tattletail, is the full name. I don't know what the T3 signifies, or if it signifies anything, or if it's just a cool name, but um, when I first got these swim baits, I was impressed with the color, but that was about it. Um, I like the color on these. I don't know what color this is. I think it's Silver Flash, but it looks so different on the website if it is. Um, this might have just been like some random like exclusive color that I got from a mystery tackle box at some point but um, it has the ribbing although they're not very deep or anything uh, it has a hook slot through the bottom and the top although they're not very deep and um, I don't know just your average swim bait 
So for color selection, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 3. Uh, it comes in 6 colors, which is enough to get you by probably, but might not fill all of the niches that you're looking for. For quantity per pack, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 3, because at 8 per pack, uh, that's the most that you get per any pack of swim baits that we looked at today. Uh, for the action, I'm going to give this lure a 1 out of 3. Um, it has a pretty much the same size tail as the cane thumper, so it doesn't have like a huge action to begin with, uh, and it actually has a very similar tail structure to the cane thumper. It's very thick down here and a little bit thicker like this way as well, uh, unlike the Kytec and the Yum Pulse. Um, where it differs from the cane thumper is that this is actually a little bit more tough of a plastic as opposed to the cane thumper which is actually a lot softer. Um, they say they do that for durability which I'm sure this is going to be a really durable plastic but um, I don't know I just think it really inhibits the action so I personally wouldn't recommend these if you're looking for a swim bait but uh, I'm just going to give it a 1 out of 3 for the action. Uh, it would probably work pretty well in like your more pressured bodies of water where you're looking for more finesse presentation or I guess it would probably work a little bit better uh, in like really clear water as well or when it's really cold uh, and you don't want a lot of action but um, yeah one out of three just because in general I like to have my swim baits have a little bit more action to them and then for the price I'm gonna give it a three out of three because at $2.99 this is the cheapest option that we looked at today and then finally for the other category, I'm going to give it uh, all zeros because it doesn't have scent, it doesn't have salt, and like I said, it's just a really tough plastic, which I'm sure is fine, but I, I don't know. I just don't like the feel of it, so I'm just going to say it's not quality plastic. So that's going to bring the Riot Baits Tattletale to a total of 9 out of possible 15 points. Alright, Joe, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I really tried to make this one informative and kind of really input my opinion, so I apologize if it's a little long this one. I feel it's probably going to be pretty long. <laughs> but I hope it was helpful and I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, anyway, if you did, please again leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see some more of these or if there's anything I can work on. Or if you guys have any better video ideas for in the future. I'm open to do a lot of different things, so just let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this, then please hit that uh, subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it if you all would subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you guys are more interested in seeing some stuff like this, then this is going to be the way to do it. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.